Developing a software product is a long and windy road. Most likely it will expand in time over many moons. New features, libraries, user interfaces will be introduced and don't forget something that follows every software development process. Bugs. That of course will require a good pest control before they'll make customers sick of your product. A software version convention is a numbering pattern that software developers and their customers use to track updates and releases to the software. In terms of development workflow, software is often tracked by using two versioning schemes, stable release or release version and working release or internal version number. Stable release is the one that customer is going to be presented with an internal version number is something that is left exclusively within developers team and it may change many times in a single week and surprisingly the same version of a product might have two different names within those paradigms for instance a stable release of Java SE 5.0 had an internal number of 1.5.0 why does that happen? You see, for the developers, it is important to stick to the convention of naming the product in sequence. But final stable release can be affected by brilliant naming ideas from marketing department. As an example, Windows 7 has an internal version number of 6.1. There are many types of different software versioning schemes that are currently in use, but we are going to look into the most popular one, the semantic version numbering scheme. The semantic numbering is well-known pattern of product stable release to communicate the scale of changes that happened since the last release. The pattern usually represents a four-digit sequence divided by a decimal point and its divisions represent from left to right, major, minor, bug fix or patch or revision updates and a build number. The major version number change basically means that the company rolls out some significant changes to the product that might experience a complete turn in its architecture, operation or purpose. After that the product's previous versions might be incompatible with the new release. A good example is Python 2 versus Python 3. The minor version number increment often means that a new feature has been introduced to the product and often it is likely that an earlier version will still be supported, at least for a while until all customers want to switch to a new one. For example, standard features of 3.0.0 version may still be compatible with 3.1.0 because of the backward compatibility of the product. Bug fix or patch or revision update means that changes made won't mean to alter or challenge products existing functionality. The increment often happens after a bug which existing product contained has been resolved or after a patch that fixes a number of bugs has been released. The build number would represent a sequential build number within a release and is generally automatically incremented by a continuous integration build process. Normally only one build will be the official build for a given revision. For example, a revision with a bug fix has been released to quality control but they return it back with another bug found. Developers fix that new bug and send it back to QA with the same revision number, but the build number will be incremented. All right, please give this video Empress thumbs up, toll the bell and subscribe so you won't miss a future major version increase. Vale.